We understand that the Chinese President Xi Jinping is once again going to deliver a speech at this year's Agenda Summit later uh, next week. Uh, tell us more about what the world would like to know more about China. First and foremost, we are of course very honored that uh, President Xi Jinping uh, comes to the Davos uh, Agenda uh, meeting uh, next week. He will uh, be uh, the first uh, speaker giving a special message um, on uh, our opening uh, day. And um, I think a lot of uh, our business participants and also other governments are really uh, looking uh, for signals on how uh, China is going to show leadership uh, also in the post-COVID world, how China is going to uh, handle a re-entry into the Paris Agreement uh, from uh, the U.S., and also to learn um, more about um, also the economic um, recovery of China. China, uh, in fact, uh, were one of the few economies growing last year. So the rest of the economies have uh, been uh, contracting. So uh, China's leadership now uh, on the sustainable development goals, on climate, but also on uh, the new technologies, also how to uh, address uh, the digital uh, divide, and also how uh, much of a role China will take globally in getting uh, the trade negotiations back also on w in WTO. I, I think uh, the world is, is waiting for, and also uh, to hear um, really how the president uh, wants uh, to lead uh, China uh, in the years to come. What do you make of the recent ups and downs of uh, geopolitics? So firstly, I do hope that uh, 2021 will be a much better year than 2020, also when it comes to global cooperation. So I do hope that uh, in the year to come that um, President Xi Jinping and, and also President uh, Joe Biden will find a good way to work together because we know uh, if you're going to address the three C's, uh, COVID, climate change, and uh, cooperation, we need uh, the world to come together. And COVID anywhere is COVID everywhere. And climate change doesn't know any kind of border. So we are all in the same boat. And this is also what President Xi Jinping alluded to in Davos in 2017. We do need to work together and also to strengthen the multilateral cooperation. I think we have no alternative uh, to work together. If we're going to uh, see an early recovery from this uh, crisis, we also have to continue to trade with each other. So we have to re-energize the World Trade Organization. And this can only be done if China and the U.S. also find a common path and we can break some of the impulses that we have seen so far. You know, this beggar thy neighbor attitude uh, should stop. It is really about prosper your neighbor. So uh, if others do well, you will do well. And if you do well, others will do well. I think that uh, what uh, President Xi Jinping also signaled in Davos 2017 that China as the most populous nation of the world, second largest economy in the world, is willing to work uh, with other nations through the multilateral organizations is something so important.